Hello Burberry Troop, welcome back, I'm The Real Andy of Burberry Hills and welcome to another piece of tea of the day and right now I have more sweet sweet tea for you and we're gonna be talking about Southern Charm, girl like sit down, sit down because this tea is popping. You thought that the whole thing with Catherine Dennis that we talked earlier today was bad? Well, this is not bad, but it's shocking. It's shocking if this is true, okay? So we definitely need to talk about it. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to support my channel. Now you can do it through the thank bottom right here. And let's talk about this uh, mess. Hey, yo, Mio. No. My friend, my soulmate, my sister. I am so glad that Juan Dixon is not here right now. Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. Better? It's bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. Girl, I mean, this is involving so many people, so many things. And let me see where do we start. So, you know Whitney. Honestly, I love Whitney. I have loved Whitney since season one. His journey and his weird, like, uh, hairdos and smiles and, like, even the creepiness sometimes. I just love, love him. Of course, I love Miss Patricia. But I, I have always loved Whitney. However, there has been always certain, like, rumors going around him you know he has never really, really settled down with any woman and he lives part-time here in los angeles and then he goes back to charleston you know and the whole thing and now we have an ex member an ex cast member of southern charm coming forward spilling some tea about him so the first thing that we're going to say is allegedly, 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 and this is said by her, okay? And we have the video. So do you guys remember Ashley? Girl, the first thing that I have to tell you about Ashley is that I hated that bitch so much, you know? So it's very hard for me to, to take anything that she's saying seriously because to me, that girl is right there with Kelly Dodd. You know, I'm, I'm like, I cannot stand that girl. I cannot, I, I never understood how she could be uh, part of the show, how she could be with Thomas. Like, the whole situation with her, really, like, I can't. Like, I think she is uh, the thirstiest person alive, to be honest. But according to Bravo Boo, which is an Instagram account that they literally bring us a lot of powerful tea constantly you know this girl is saying that she knows the real reason behind Whitney and Naomi hooking up okay as you know they they are kind of like an item right now on the show and I told you a long time ago there was a blind item saying that this ex-cast member had to return and be on her knees with two like with an executive producer and another cast member to get her job back that was a blind item a long time ago and we, of course we knew that they were talking about naomi olindo right as you know whitney is an executive producer of southern charm right so apparently according to ashley she is outing whitney and she is saying that whitney is gay mm -hmm. or that she that he is either gay or bisexual or something like that or he is using women to hide his true self all right so let's read this i'm gonna show you also the video but um this is kind of like a conversation. There is a video of Ashley, and then it says, Whitney is gay and close it. I feel this was a stipulation into letting her come back to the show. He would rather look like a huge playboy to Patricia than a gay man. The person responds, what? How do you know this? And she says, I have a friend that knows Ashley's Jacob, and she told him this. Then it says, allegedly, yes, Naomi Olindo is Whitney's beard. 
this season. It was the price she paid to get back on the show. I'm guessing it went a little something like this for Naomi to get back on the show. She called Whitney crying because he's the producer of the show, saying she wants to go back to her life. Uh, back on her life is falling apart. Whitney sees an opportunity. If this is true, I feel bad for Whitney, most of all because he feels that he can't be himself in this day and age. His mom is very old school. Old school meaning like homophobic? <laughs> I mean, girl, I don't know. I mean, uh, first of all, the fact that it's Ashley saying this, it... I don't know. I have so many questions. Second of all, I still don't think that she should have gone around outing Whitney. Um, as a member of the LGBT community, it's coming out. It's a very personal story. You know, like each person need to be on the right mindset to coming out whenever they decided to come out. So if someone is in the closet, it's not up to you or your mom or your dog or absolutely anyone to go out there and, and just say it to the world. So like the fact that she is doing that, you know, it, there is a video of her saying this. Honestly, it's just kind of disgusting. And it literally shows us another part of who this Ashley really is. It's his choice. She will, I mean, no one, no one says that, that you have to come out. You know, you will come out wherever you are ready to come out. Especially, even though we are in 2022, there are still a lot of asshole, assholes out there, a lot of homophobic people, a lot of people that still think that this is a lifestyle and a choice and a, a lot of that bullshit. And believe me, there's still a lot of stigma out there. Even though that we live in such a like liberal country, there are still a lot of people who are still willing to to destroy us for no reason. So that's really, really up to him. And actually, like, shame on her to for doing this and for outing him if this is even true, okay? Because where are the proofs? You know, according to Ashley, her only proof is that she has a friend that is gay and he hook up with Whitney, okay? Second of all, if you are so on, like, 2022... You know, and you want, and, and she says like, oh, there is no, nothing wrong of being gay. Just own it. Uh, if you are so into 2022, you also should know that right now, sexuality is super fluid. Okay. You can be with men. You can be with women. You can be in the middle, this side, that side. You can be uh, pansexual. You can be asexual. You can be a lot of sexualities out there. So believe me, sleeping with a guy doesn't make you gay. Okay, you, you really need to do your uh, investigation on that one. But anyways, uh, yeah, that's it. <sighs> I think um, I think I show you the video of what she's saying at the end of this video or I will post it on my Instagram or TikTok. So stay tuned for that one. It's basically what I just tell you, you know, uh, it's a short video. It's not a long video. So it's basically the same thing. And that's it. That's the T right there. So what do you think? Do you believe Ashley? Or what is going on? Let me know. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye. Not Whitney's thingable or gross. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll give you, I'll tell you a little secret. I have a friend who lives in West Hollywood and has hooked up with Whitney. And he's a guy. That's all I'm going to say. You take from that what you want. I personally liked Whitney. He was always so kind to me and so sweet to me and funny. Um, but he likes to swing both ways. Yeah, to each his own, right? To each his own. I don't judge. Just own it. That's the only thing I'm saying.